and will join me in a second. And I'll turn the music down a bit. Thanks, Lindsay. Let me turn this down a notch. I hope that's fine now. Yeah, you were right. So probably the music was too loud. I hope you can hear me clearly now. And Bernd too, say something. Hello. This is Bernd. Hello, and Bernd. That is Martin. Exactly, I'm Martin. And I'm very Martin's head. And Bernd is looking great. It sounded like a lie a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Guys, be thankful we don't have we don't use cameras here. Okay, before we jump into the completed the complete collection or complete edition, I'll just um, say something about the complete collection. As already said, it will contain it does contain all DLCs and all add-ons. Um, which is quite a lot, to be honest. Um, if you would buy all of these on Steam right now, you would probably spend around one hundred dollar or one hundred euro. So let me get into it. That's maybe the bling bling version. <laughs> yeah. We had a lot of um, customers asking for a complete collection. And here it is, finally! Hi Fitzes! <laughs> Hello world's greatest boss! I'm glad you're here. Hi Gliderix! Hi Grey Wolf Dragon! Hello Veronica! Warmaha! Hello! And Linsby! And Linsby! I like Linsby. Linsby's great. Yeah. You all others are too. Yes. But Linsby is also a mod here. I know. <laughs> Alright. So let's jump into it. Um, some words about the content. Um, the complete collection does contain the espionage add-on, which includes six challenging missions and a new campaign. Uh, various spy themed buildings, like I think it's nine buildings. Four new maps, that's only espionage for now. Um, four new music tracks, four new costumes, more accessories for your avatars, and more, uh, more sandbox tasks like um, little missions which can pop up in the sandbox ver uh, mode of the game, which are based around the espionage setting. It does also include the waterborne. Wait, I can show you all the content in the game. Let's jump right in it. So you have various missions here, as you can see. A really lot of them. And the add-ons. Yes, there's the main campaign, cl clearly. And this is the Waterborne campaign. And this is the Espionage campaign, the Maltese Tukan. Let's talk about the Waterborne campaign. The Waterborne campaign is similar to the espionage campaign, has six uh, missions and a new story, nine new listen, offshore buildings and marine vehicles, four new island maps which are full of beautiful small islands and a lot of water, <laughs> four new music tracks, um, two new avatar costumes and six new avatar accessories and also new sandbox tasks uh, which pop up in sandbox if you own the waterborne. So if you buy the complete collection um, and you play sandbox you'll have a multitude of various tasks and a lot stuff to do which can be quite entertaining. All the DLCs which I so showed you before um, called the missions all the DLCs here contain um, a new single player campaign and a new building at least, a new accessory for avatar and a new map for sandbox games. Oh and also new music scores, each one of them. But in this collection they are all included already. Are there plans to release this on Steam too, one day? Yeah it will be released on the same day. Same day? Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, you never know. You never know. You never so know. this will be also on Steam, but you can also already pre-order it on, on Amazon, as far as I know. The, co the yes. Collector's Edition? Yes, the co Complete Collection. It's not the Collector's Edition, the Complete Collection. It's um, out in the US a little bit later. I have to check. All right, all right. So we have, we have some time to check that. But it will be available soon. 
Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have any papers in front of me. No, no, I know all these missions. <laughs> yeah, banned. Good old banned. Alright, so if you do not have any special uh, wishes, I'll just jump into, um, I think, into one of the two uh, expansions, like Espionage and Waterborne, and then afterwards in just one of the DLCs, and just we'll build some. And Bettina, yes, our social media manager, just said that uh, the complete collection is in America on 2nd of February. 2016 retail version. Yes. Okay, so the, you, you heard it. You heard it here first. Thanks, Bettina. Thank you, Bettina. The retail version will come out on 2nd of February. Did I get this right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is is the 2nd of February also the date for for the Steam version? That would be quite interesting. All right. Um, I show you Waterborne. Um, espionage is by far the um, that means the Maltese Toucan is by far the most wanted expansion we've made for Tropical 5. But I personally really like Waterborne as it gives the the game a new depth by having the the uh, the opportunity by having the the possibility to build on water, especially if you build big cities and you run out of space. This is a nice addition and really can help you a lot. So how are we gonna name our dynasty today? Why don't we call that Band? Oh so funny. Band you got your own dynasty in Tropic yeah, 5. Finally. finally. Our beloved dictator Band. <laughs> <laughs> Viva Band. Yeah, see, see. Vote Band or else. Yeah. Senor Presidente Bernd. Berndo. <laughs> Senor Berndo. Anyway. <laughs> Steam. Steam is earlier, apparently. 29th. Thanks a lot. Steam comes out on 29th of January. This is pretty soon. Thanks. Alright, so we got that. Bernd, you will definitely wear a mustache. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Look at your. Wonderful backside. <laughs> so let's see. If we have a Berndo. We have Barnabos. That's pretty close to Berndo. Beltran. Benito. Benito. Bernabe. Bernardo. That's uh, there. We got it. That's Bernd. Bernd in Spanish. So your skill is cheapskate. <laughs> That's you. Race. Uh, I don't care. That's all good. We take that. Yep, main color, give him some more bright here, maybe. Oh wait, it's... Oh. Bordeaux? Bordeaux? Yeah, yeah, you get, oh. you get everything you need. So as you can see, uh, let me just skip through the... Excuse me, <laughs> through the costumes. <laughs> let me skip through the costumes. As you can see, all costumes are in here. Oh, I still don't like the colors. Let me change that. I need some tropical red. Come on. Dark purple, pink, pink, that's a lot, a lot of colors. Oh, we, we go with the Bordeaux. And some nice yellow. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Bernd, to be honest. It's Bernd. Yeah. No, okay, so I show you the costumes. All um, Mission and DLC costumes are now also included. So whenever you, want, whenever you have a new Dynasty member, you can give him a different look. So you can see there are plenty of them. We go. Oh, viva Bernardo! See your. It's a small Easter egg there. If you wait long enough, your mirror will do something crazy. No, that's that's you. That's how we know you from the office. From the office. Hair's fine. You get a hat. No, you want that one, right? Okay, so that's. Come on, let's show that, all the DLC stuff. This is that's banned. Oh, I could have shown you more accessories. Wait, I'll, I'll do that probably. Should I? Nah, later. <laughs> we will, we'll play another one. So 
just in case something bad happens and I don't want to lose this game, I'll put everything on low. But frequent disasters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you start, just like in the main campaign, you start on one of these two. And I prefer that one. Good music to start with. So, one question. Black oh, just listen. It's a jewel of indescribable beauty. So it's about the black Mostly pearl. because nobody has ever seen it. Some yeah. say the pearl has mystical powers. Others say it is cursed. It's cursed. No matter. I want it. The legends say the pearl is resting in the depths of the Caribbean Sea. All right. Luck and a couple of loaded dice won me a governor's title in the region. The resources of the two islands under my command should help me finance the treasure hunt. The Black Pearl will soon be mine. Oh yeah, so it's about finding the Black Pearl. So all we need to do... Greetings, my good chum. I'm excited is to start this campaign. This water island, yet mind that one does not keep invaluable treasures okay. away from his majesty. Okay, okay, okay. So the first task is to build three oyster farms. That's already one of the uh, wonderful waterborne campaigns. Water waterborne tasks. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bernd Bernardo just earned himself a tweet. So Calypso Media Group just twittered that <laughs> the Dictator Dynasty Bernd is now live on Twitch with a picture and everything. Awesome! So if you do not already follow Calypso Media on Twitch, it's just search for Calypso Media and you will find it. We post about everything, we Twitter, tweet about everything important here. Oh, one second. Um, the the game comes out with up, down, left, right arrow keys assigned. I'm I'm more of a VASD guy, so oh wrong key. So if you prefer to play like this, just click them, type in VA, uh, VASD, and you'll be fine. I'll do that always. Let's see. Yep, perfect. Okay, so oyster farms. As you can see. If you have the complete collection, you will find everything from the add-ons in every game. That means if you start a waterborne, uh, if you start the waterborne campaign, the Black Pearl campaign, you can also build espionage buildings, which can make things more interesting, probably more easier. We don't know, but um, you can also, if you want to play the the pure waterborne campaign, you can just easily not use them. I think you can also. Just not stop them. All right, so build three oyster farms. We'll just start with that. You have to build oyster farms um, above sea fish deposits, and I won't take these two because I think I'll need them to give food to my fellow citizens. I'll just put one here to begin with. One. How much money do I have? Two. Oh, uh -oh okay. It's not that much money. So we probably should focus yeah, on making you know, some money his first. Majesty is fond. All right, we'll build a log logging camp first. Some roads, as long as I still have money. Ay ay ay, Bernardo, what should we do next? Something to eat? You like to eat? Sure. Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> he doesn't look like, but he does. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, some corn, the corn is always, look at this, perfect, dark brown, alright, there you go, let me check this, Greetings, old chap. Have hello, 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 mm -hmm. hello, there you go, so, listen to the scene, Beautiful scene. Alright, as we wait till this builds up. I can show you this beautiful island. 
it has two volcanoes. <laughs> And I put the game on Relentless Disasters, <laughs> which might have been a stupid idea. No, but okay, we'll see. Put the game on fast forward. Technological progress is the a library. Yeah, let's go. I'll do whatever you say, girl. Maybe one more road here to cut in between. And I think they need some living space, but I won't give them so much. Tropicans tend to live in shacks and they seem to really like it, so I don't know. If you give them everything else they need, they can have a pretty high they can have a pretty high housing quality, which I don't have right now, but they will. Sooner or later. Alright. Okay, this is already done. Seems good. What's up here? It's a nice area too. Maybe I should explore some island. Just to see if I find some deposits. I'll just send them. I'll just send them over here. Ever there is. We'll find out. Okay, as you can see, the oyster farms are already working. Yeah, fully staffed. Already making some profit. But I need to build three of them, so. I'm running low on money, but I'll get 3,000 right now. It's not that much, but it's okay. Maybe I should build another plantation as soon as the ship comes in. Okay, 3.5, so I should go down to 7 or something. 5, oh, that's good. Um, another plantation. Cocoa. All right, let's go with Cocoa. And I forgot about the logging camp. Hmm, I'll put it up here. And then I'll give it a, a road there. And this one too. Oops, don't connect it. now. Alright, so this will be... This is building right now. Let's see if I have enough money for an oyster farm. I don't have. I need 3,000. and I'm. You know you can um, go into minus 10,000 and that's where you where it stops, where you are not, uh, are not allowed to build anymore. Let me quickly um, activate the research. But you can, later on in the game, you can get money by using an edict. But that's not here, it's in the World War, so we'll have to wait. But I will just text the riches on the island to see if some money comes in. And it looks pretty good. We are back to Ready. minus 3,000. It is your will as the air was born. And we have a new agent on our island. E, this guy looks even more like you. There's no hair. There's no hair? You need you need more hair? Okay. Oh, okay. Why don't I give you I just give you a hat. See? It's like family thing. There you go. Actually they look pretty similar. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Alright, so let's go for the oyster farm. There you go. Third one. Click. So we just did three of them, you can see it here. So now a new task will pop up. I hope. Good show, that is. old chap. Now that his majesty trusts <coughs> you, he requires you to ensure the well-being of the royal swine. The what? The royal swine? His Majesty recently bred a new type of swine in his royal pigsty. He personally tends to their needs and plans to start feeding them the most pristine pearls which you have to provide. Okay, let's provide him some more pearls. Mandate increase will be increased by 12 months if I export 5,000 pearls. Let's see if this is even possible. Oh, come on. That wasn't me. There's some guy distracting me. Greatness. 
While searching I think his name is Bernardo. Colony supplies, we found a sickle. Now All right. We have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. This will boost production sky high. <laughs> I can almost see the glorious future. A futuro glorio. So we have the the first research unlocked. Won't use them right now. How many pearls do they produce? Okay, they already have 357. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation. All right, I take the money. Yeah, that will be. That should be go fast. Independence must be every day. Uh, a grocery? I don't know. Should I? Ah, groceries. Here it is. Yeah, okay. Let's give them one. Where should I? Here, maybe? Yeah. Nice store. Set it to the beach as I'm trying to build another road here. Okay, perfect. So that's it. There, go there goes just there goes your beach view. It's over. <laughs> Make place for new buildings. I'll build a tavern here. That's a nice place for a tavern, don't you think? Look at it. Perfect. Looks good so far. Our lucky day. I traded all my money for a magic compass that will show us the way to the Black Pearl. We only have to close our eyes and wish with all our heart. I met a really strange pirate at the docks who goes by the name of Captain Joe. After a couple of pins, his tongue loosened and he told me about his magic compass that was supposed to lead him to the Black Pearl. He wasted his life trying to find it and he has given up. This is a great chance to dedicate our lives to the same goal. Yeah, Penultimo. Definitely the best idea to spend all your money. The revolutionary movement is growing stronger. Okay, I'll import some revolutionaries. It's always good. Because we will later on free ourselves from the king. Oh, I don't know why this popped up, but I'll build some gardens here. So you can see this is the beauty overlay. And the greener the better. Someone small stole my manuscript here. and branch upgrades. All right, so we are already exporting like, uh, one third of the amount we need to export. A bit more, so this will go fine. Um, let me show you. I will save that for a second. I will show you some more stuff now. We we'll jump into a sandbox game with unlimited money, so I can show you all the buildings. This was just a small um, preview um, to show you parts of the Waterborne campaign. So we saved that. Let's go back to the main menu. Start a new game. Choose sandbox. New no, we go with the same one. Ah, oh, the maps. Yeah, um, as this is the complete collection, you see plenty of maps. Um, just give me a number be between. <laughs> No, I need two numbers. I need a number between 1 and 5, band. 4. And now I need a number between 1 and 9. Oh, yeah. Th what is that? <laughs> That's not a number. Uh, 6, please. 6, please. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's Dos Rios. Let's go with that one. Alright. I'm um, only for all that right now. Starting money. Mm, not unlimited. Disasters. Okay, and we start in the modern times, so I'll be able to show you everything. Mr. Kelso said something about the music a couple of minutes ago. And the good thing about this collection is that it, it does contain every single song ever released for this game. Which is quite a lot of music. 
and so on won't Modern get repetitive at all. Oh! Tropical. You hear that, you hear that girl? Waiting. Better surfboards, plastic surgery, oh, well, nicer can raise the population limit and turn the radio off. A new culture, embracing yeah. travel, adventure, and daydreaming. It's all right, all right, all right. so cool and new, it feels like the 60s all over again. Yeah. Okay, radio off. Is If it does annoy you, you can turn it off. It does not really help right now. Um, while doing the stream. So this is Dos Rios. You can see, here's one small river. And here's another one, which ends here somehow. Alright, so let me show you the waterborne buildings. We have the Glass Bottom Restaurant, which is a nice restaurant on Chesterby built upon a fish deposit. There you go. And it is, as you can clearly see, exactly what it says it is. It's a Glass Bottom Restaurant. So this is one. Um, let's start. You already know the Oyster Farm, but I didn't show you the Oyster Farm. Uh, from nearby, only from the distance. This island lacks a bit on fish deposits. Uh, there's one. All right. So it's more, more. It's like a shack on the sea. <laughs> and you see some nets here. All right. Oh, well, that's this. Fishing trawler. This is a, a bigger. Better working variation will help you to provide fish for your uh, for export and for your citizen. It's pretty nice. Later on, um, you'll see people working on it. Right now, we don't because it's going to fast forward. Maybe. So, what else do we have? I already show, showed you the glass bottom restaurant. It's the tidal power plant. So the tidal power plant is really, really interesting because it converts the forces of the sea into electricity. Too far away from road network. Let's just put it here. Bam. Quick build it. So as you can see, hope we can get some people in there. Probably not, not so fast, but let me also build some houses here. This type and then the smaller one.
Oh, wow, I didn't... Now that's hard. I just was talking about this pure girl Consuela and I put in prison. <laughs> and you missed it because somehow I was muted and I don't know why. Maybe I pressed a button with... Oh, yeah, I found the button. Th one? There's a quick button to mute yourself. It's here. Oh, Alright, we found the reason. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I never meant to do this. Uh, to do this. I'm really sorry. So um, I was explaining um, about the espionage buildings right now. The good life of Consuela. Yeah, good. I will do that again. I will do. I will do it again. So yeah, we built this beautiful um, dungeon, which auto rest cra cra um, crime lords and rebel leaders, and also detects hidden roles. And yeah, let's have a look. Who are you? Uh, wait, no, not the dog. Oh, they are too fast for me. Too fast and too furious for me. So we got... Who's that? Presidente? Oh, Carla Vega. Hello, Carla Vega. Uh, nice to meet you. I will... Oh, thanks for hosting, Wilder Gamer. Hello, Carla. I will now arrest you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. So this is Carla. She had a nice day. But right now, she will go somewhere else. <laughs> So let's see. Uh, she got married right now. It was nice. You should do it again. Yeah. <laughs> you should go. You should definitely marry again. You see, Carla, that's what happens to you if you think you should remarry. You just go straight into prison. That's what you do. Your home is haunted. You have a new home now. Welcome to prison. Alright, so this is the small, uh, short and sad story of Carla. Come back tomorrow when she will still be facing prison walls. So that's the dungeon. Um, let's go back to the other buildings. We have the Ranger Corps. Really useful. Not now because we have the whole island um, discovered already. But imagine you would be in colonial times. So you just built this beautiful little building. Whenever you play, doesn't matter what. If it's sandbox or the main campaign. Um, make sure it's staffed. Probably... Right. No, it's already staffed. You need people and they automatically will discover and explore the island for you which is pretty handy and useful all right but they also um, increase the crime safety if you purchase the upgrade and they also detect roles um, as an agent does and also as also as the dungeon does uh, they detect roles of your citizens all right so this is this beautiful little building. We have the Ministry of Information. Now we come nearer to what is the real spy theme of this add-on. Let's put it here. Oh, beautiful place. Look at this. High tower. 
I think... I'm wondering what Carla does. Carla, you there? Are you fine? She probably is. She's married. She has to be happy. So, the Minister of Information can help you fight rebels. And it can also help you by purchasing the, purchasing the political brainwashing upgrade um, to increase the standing with the faction. Oh, what's the sound? I think we have a... Oh, we, are we releasing? Or did we just... I think we missed. We had, a, we had a nuclear test and I missed it. I'm really sorry. Sorry, guys. I'll show you next time. Let me get some more workers. Presidente. Tropicans await elections next um, year. They wish no. Oh, there you go. Whoa. Yeah. I think everybody knows which game. Fireworks for Carla. Yeah, fireworks for Carla, yeah. From Senor Bernardo. Presidente Bernardo. It has come to my attention. Good news, Mike. All right. I need an offshore office, Russia. Okay, let's do this really quick. Offshore office. Click, click, click. Russia. Invite Russia. Probably give us some some money. No. Good news, my dear fellow, the Russians. Perfect. What? Good news, my dear fellow, the Russians have... Ah, I need workers. There you go. Alright, and let's give it the update. The update. There you go. Alright, back to the buildings from um, Espionage. The security checkpoint. Security checkpoint is really nice. You can build it on every road and it will instantly check every citizen that passes by and will detect rebel leaders, rebels and also crime lords and criminals. You can also generate taxes and give you a small profit there. And you'll see that every car will be checked as soon as this building is staffed. Right now it isn't. Maybe I should build one nearer here. I think we need more people but Sorry guys, our colleagues just jumped into the room and started to steal. Actually, our boss. <laughs> yeah, our boss. Our boss just came in and, and stole our food. Stole our sweets here. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you see that checkpoint. But have in mind, if you build too many of these, they will heavily. Um, Slow your, slow your traffic, which can have negative side effects. Oh, we have a new test here. Oh, I like the rockets. I know someone, I know a political leader who should definitely play this game instead of making tests in real life. Well, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, well, Kim, Kim Jong himself does play Tropical Five. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is where but, he got all the ideas. But from. he's the only one who was allowed to play it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know about that. Okay. So that's the Spy Academy. Well, it does. It does what the title say. Build spies, which can work for you. They can um, sabotage. Um, uh, other country, other countries, other forces. Um, I need place for this. So this is the radar station helps you detect other spies and other actions. But one of the more useful buildings, I really like this one, is the police blimp. We call it Zeppelin here. Have a look. So now you have a wonderful police blimp, and the funny thing is you can click it as soon as you have people working in it. Oh, I really need people here. Look at this. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have a look at what people need. Oh wait, that's not the people. Here. 
So they need healthcare and they need religion. Oh yeah. No problem. You get a cathedral. Now join join Tropico. And some healthcare. Excuse me. Right here. Da, 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 da. All right. So we have a hosp hospital now. I'll do some quick builds. What you just heard was the blimp. Because that means it's fully staffed and I can now move it. So, wherever you see this um, grid, whenever you see the, the crime grid, the crime overlay, the crime safety overlay, excuse me, whenever you see a red part somewhere, maybe in the, in the harbor, in the port area, wherever, you can move you can click your blimp and move it over there, which is fantastic in my opinion. Because it gives you a mobile police force which can adapt to your needs and you don't have to rebuild a new station or something. You just move the blimp over there. This is really useful and you'll have it in every game. Whatever you play. Alright. Beautiful blimp. He's guarding the Russians and the <laughs> United States. That's how you do it in Tropico. Don't move! Alright. Um, more espionage buildings. You have the mechanized garrison. I don't... Wait a second. I'm not sure what it... Oh yeah. Um, military units. Motorized military... Where, where, where are the APCs again? I think that's like... Kind of tanks. No, wait. That's Jeep style thingy. Let me have a look again. Replaces APCs with APCs MK2. High velocity machine guns. Alright, alright. So, yeah. Might be handy. And the drone command. Haha. This is really. So, yeah, this is really useful. Because from now on, whenever you plan to. to kill a rebel. You don't even have to leave your home anymore. You can do it by clicking on your computer screen. And... Wait, that's like clicking on your computer in-game. I don't know what these walkers are, wider gamer. Like in MGS, what's that? Walkers? Like in Star, Star Wars walkers? <laughs> Just kidding. So I show you the drone, the drones. They are pretty. They are really nice. Put a tycoon there, and I'm white some. So whenever this is staffed, I'll show you what this is all about. There you go. Okay, we should have a drone now. I can now. Can I already? Yeah, I can. I can use a drone to kill someone, but apparently everybody else is in prison already, so I don't know. So let's try to kill it. Yeah. Why not? I'm not sure if it will be executed by the drone right now. It doesn't look like. Oh wait, the drones? Ah, we will definitely see one later. As soon as, as this is fully staffed. Okay, it's staffed now. Take the sniff is really low. There it is. See the drone? Oh, yeah. And the drone killed our pure. Yeah, I don't think the Mano. I don't think he will move anymore. And a president walks by to make sure it really worked. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and you see the beautiful shot of the drone. So that's the drone. Yeah. Have you guys any questions? I can show you more stuff. Maybe some more um, uh, more accessories for your avatars, or some other missions. I just re so I'll just drop some names here. The missions which will be included are all missions. So I'll name them. It's Mad World, the Big Cheese. Generalissimo, which is a military-based um, 
uh, DLC. Joint Venture, which is a fast food based DLC, serves up. It's um, it's a crazy DLC with a mission about aliens and serving stuff and uh, crazy stuff. Wasn't there time traveling into? Gun Green is obviously uh, a vegan DLC. Yeah. <laughs> we got T Day, which is a show business DLC. Supercomputer is about more technology. You can also build all these buildings from the DLCs in the main game or in a sandbox game. So if you want the full package, um, the, ver the Steam version of the of the complete collection will be out on 29th of January in less or more two weeks on Steam and Steam in Europe and second of uh, February in the United States in, in, in the United States. on Steam too or North America yeah. and also the retail version will be the, in available the, yeah in, in North America so yeah. if you want it really really early you should probably pre-order on Amazon I heard sometimes Amazon delivers stuff too early <laughs> yeah <laughs> They do. <laughs> so, I think that's it for now. If you have any question, oh, can we see the vegan DLC stuff? Yeah, sure you can, no problem. So, it's more like ecological. Yeah, ecological. Yeah, I just tried to make a bad joke there. Uh, well, it was a bad joke. Thank you. <laughs> you still laughed because I do. I you like you do like I bad do jokes. Like bad jokes. That's true. I know, I know. Bad jokes are good jokes. <laughs> so yeah, um, for example, part of the Gone Green DLC is this beautiful thing, the wind farm. Which oh, I'm I'm gonna I need more power right now, so it's probably a good thing to build one of these. Let's put it right here on the beach. Far away. It's so green, but still need still needs roads. Presidente. All right. There you go. this little thing now <laughs> provides power um, and does this without producing any kind of pollution which is pretty nice so you can try to build an island completely based on eco-friendly resources and maybe we're using a democratic political system instead of killing and arresting your citizen. Because the easy way is always using power and force, but the funnier way is definitely going the hard way. Duro! Whatever he said, I'll send him here. Bye. Have fun. <laughs> All right, I can. <laughs> I could show you more, um, but I think time is over, and we, well, we already did it now. And you can check it out on Steam. Uh, each of this, just search for Tropical Five on Steam or on Amazon, or just Google it. And each of these missions and DLCs and add-ons, they are all available already. So you can check their content out and see what they provide you and then wait two weeks and buy the the complete collection. And yeah, this is the fullest tropical experience so far, I think. And I hope you enjoyed this little stream. I hope we showed you enough. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Oh no. Oh god, no, please. No, no. It was such a nice ending, and now we have a disaster. I know. knew it! We made it! No! Oh. oh 
Oh wait, my power, my wind. Oh, it's still in. It's all good. It's all good. All right. What, what was here? The corn plantation needs to be rebuilt. Oh, he just popped up something new here. Wow. This is an autosave. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that. So, let me show you some more buildings, maybe. Here's the supercomputer. It generates research points automatically. This is part of the supercomputer DLC. This beautiful giant laser. I have to build it. <laughs> it's so nice. Although I think we need more, more power. Oh, we're doing good. Anyway. The complete collection does include the base game. It includes everything we have ever released for Tropical 5. This means the main game, the two expansions and all 10 DLCs. Including every costume, every accessory, every building, every soundtrack, every sandbox map and everything I just <laughs> forgot to I tell you. To be the bear. I am so furious. Oh, the rebels are attacking. I don't think that's a good idea. Because I have a laser. <laughs> okay, let's put the game on slow. Let's get some people in here. And as soon as I got someone working on me, I'll be able to fire up my laser. It's road access. Oh no, my bad. Okay, you got road access now. That means I will probably be able to fight in four months. Well, not this time. But I'll show you the laser. It looks it looks like it comes straight out from a James Bond movie. No. Um, the rebels attacked with full force. But doesn't look like they won. Hmm. We don't have sharks with laser beams, but we do have dolphins. Let me show you the dolphins. And I think they had laser. They had something attached to their head, I'm not sure about that. Wait a second. Tourism. I haven't shown you that at all. Dolphinarium. Let's put that here. Oh, Dolphins! Okay, look, let's see. Wait a second. I saw one. Jump! Ah. There he was! Okay, we had dolphins. Um, the rabbits just destroyed something. Wow. Thanks. It's not nice. Okay, we you can use the laser fire now. So, you know what? I will just destroy this thing over here. Whoop. Bam. And now it's destroyed and I would have to rebuild it. That made no sense at all. <laughs> I don't know why I just destroyed my own building. Okay, I just did that. Um, it's definitely more fun if you use it on a rebel or something. But yeah. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on here right now. Now that the USSR. I accept everything. Yes, yes. 
quick build this. Three months to go until we can use the laser again. And what else do we have? So it makes fast food joint. Yep, this one comes from the from the. This one comes from the DSC joint venture. Tropican burgers. Gifts of Tropical. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, um, in the Steam Workshop, there's a multitude of nice um, user-made maps and missions. Make sure to check them out after you bought the complete collection. They're on the Steam Workshop, and I'm talking about hundreds if not thousands of missions and, and maps. So whenever you feel that this collection is not enough, <laughs> you can go online and download some more maps and more missions. Oh, we have Rebels now. That's nice. Oh wait, I didn't want to do that. Let me zoom out, and let's, let's fire this up. Okay, Rebel Leader, I saw you. There you are. Oh, wait for me. Wait for me, Rebel Leader. Oh, wait, they, they move? I'm unable to kill them, right? How does that work? How fu Can you stop moving? Oh, you stop moving. Please stay there. Oh, I did it! And he's gone. Alright. Point and click. Poor Rebel Leader. Well, um, after this demonstration of pure tropical greatness, I think it's time to end the stream. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. We are live almost every Thursday, and if not, then it's Senor Bernardo's fault. My fault. Yeah. Um, thanks from Calypso Germany here. It was a pleasure to provide you with some entertainment tonight, uh, I mean today. Depends on where you live. Um, have a nice end of the week and a beautiful weekend and see you next week. Bye bye.